Hey guys, Kamaya Tarpley here. Uh, I know I usually do book reviews or diabetic videos. Uh, today we're actually going to do something different. We're going to talk about being single over the holidays. Ooh. <laughs> I know some people just like cringed, but it's, it's a real thing, you guys. We're really out here. So it's going to be just me, you, and my roaring <laughs> fireplace in the back which don't judge me, okay? I love this. I love it so much. Like, I don't have a fireplace in my apartment, and, but this is like, it brings me so much comfort when I'm just like at home. I have like my lights up and everything. So it's, it's just a nice little scene setter, you know? I learned how to make it. It's really easy. It's super easy. But anyway, <laughs> anyway. so yeah, uh, find me. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and talk about that because I think it's such a like, <sighs> stupid thing to be so frustrated over being single over holidays but there are some factors that don't help so number one the number one way to be okay with being single over the holidays is to number one accept that you're single okay it's okay <laughs> it is okay to be single guys i was even debating on doing a video on why i've been single for so long um i'm not sure it's very very up in the air about that because when you put something out there it's it's out there so <laughs> i'm not sure but except that you're single like you're probably single during the summer you're probably single during uh when school started probably single when halloween came when things it's like christmas hanukkah kwanzaa these things don't make relationships are not what make the holidays the holidays okay and i think you need to get that out of their head Holidays are not created for romantic purposes. They're created for joy, for enjoying yourself. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's number one. Except that you're single. <laughs> Say okay. Uh, second benefit, you don't have to buy presents for anyone else. And here's the thing. you I mean, you, can, you buy presents for your family, right? But you don't have to buy presents for your boyfriend or girlfriend or the who, whatever they would prefer to be called your partner um you don't have to buy presents for their family you guys that's so much money saved that you could spend on yourself you can spend it on yourself okay <laughs> and if you're someone who's cool dating people with kids you don't have to buy any presents for any kids that are just gonna tell you you're not my mom and you're not my dad anyway so <laughs> i know i'm so trash for that but <laughs> But really though, like it's such a money saver just being single for the holidays. You can buy yourself your own stuff. Buy yourself a plane ticket, bruh. You can buy yourself a new Papazon chair. You can buy more construction paper. You can make a bunch of fireplaces in your house. <laughs> so that's that's one really amazing benefit, my humble opinion. <laughs> just a small disclosure, this is not a video in any shape, way, or form to be rude to people who are in relationships. If you're in a relationship, that's cool. That's good for you. I think, you know, to each his own. Um, but I think this, this kind of leads to my next thing is that a lot of people in relationships are kind of rude <laughs> to single people during the holidays. I don't get you guys sometimes because sometimes you guys are like, oh, don't worry, you'll find somebody or, Oh, you don't have anyone to kiss after midnight you know it's not that deep like if quit telling people how to feel about it you know what i mean because if people are okay with being single during the holidays there's no need for you to try and pressure them and make them feel like they need to get someone right now you know what i mean <laughs> it's like just let people enjoy the holidays stop making it a couple's thing holidays are not a couple's things which is to my next point holidays are not a couple's thing <laughs> Holidays are for you to enjoy, like have some bomb eggnog, dude, have some pie, have some turkey, have whatever it is, have some tamales, like have some good food. <laughs> for me, food's a big thing for me. <laughs> so have some bomb food, put up your lights, put up all the gold and the glitter and the colors and like, you know, enjoy the decorations, enjoy the feeling of just being at home, being you know, either with your family or with your pets or just even if you're alone, like just snuggle up and just enjoy the feeling of it being the holidays, like just the magic of it. Put on a holiday movie. Up. <laughs> Put, get yourself some cocoa. Get yourself some eggnog. Get yourself some coquito. 
whatever you need, apple cider. <laughs> There's so many things that are beautiful, amazing, and magical about the holidays that are focused on relationships. Okay, so do those things. And think about it. There's like some ma really amazing, really fun activities to do during the holidays. Um, like, for example, <laughs> so I live in Vegas. So obviously, like snow is not really a huge thing out here. So my family and I, we like to do things like, what do we do? Went to a Christmas train uh, like a week ago. Uh, we're going to go to town square where they have like the snow that falls and like their tree and stuff. You can do stuff like go to Disneyland during Christmas. Um, there's just so many Christmas activities. There's an orchard up the road where they're doing like Christmas wagons. <laughs> and you can feel good about being single when you see everyone getting pissed off at their children during these events. <laughs> Honest to God. If you have kids, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry they they might irritate you too but if okay so if you have kids then you won't have to be extremely pissed off at your mate for doing something stupid how about that they won't add to your stress <laughs> you just have to worry about your kids every single you don't have to worry about anyone at all you just got to worry about yourself walking moseying getting on christmas wagons stuff like that so <laughs> if anything that helps but again, no offense, you guys, but you know, I see it all the time, actually, when I'm like out, just people getting pissed off at like their spouses or like their kids and I'm nosy. <laughs> so if it's happening in public, your girl is listening. Okay. I'm listening. I want to know what's going on. <laughs> and so, <laughs> so that's, that's why I kicked it in with that. But yeah. And the last thing um, which kind of does come off of you're not alone during Christmas. There's a gazillion online com communities, you guys. Um, as long as you don't fall into like the dark web or the incel community or, uh, you know, any of these like communities that are actually harmful to people, you can find people who are actually really cool and amazing. Like Twitter's awesome. Instagram's awesome. Um, I definitely understand some people can feel ostracized on the internet. However, if you do make the effort to kind of like find people and you know, I'm very socially awkward, very, very socially awkward. Like I, if you're not in front of me, it's hard for me to hold a conversation with you. It just is like, and everyone thinks I'm so, so like outgoing and stuff, but <laughs> I'm just like, my friend made, said it perfectly. I am a, an extroverted introvert to where I can be, act extroverted, but I'm mostly introverted. Like I like to be by myself. So <laughs> You know, if you do make the step, if you find a way to make the first step and just ask someone how they're doing um, or about like a post they made, something on their page, you can, you can actually find some really amazing, genuine people on the internet. And that's not sad. I'm tired of people saying that's a sad thing. Look at the world. I'm doing this on a camera, guys. <laughs> like, Look at the way the world has changed. So many things are done on the internet. So many things. You can date on internet, find jobs on the internet. Why can't you make friends on the internet? That's what I don't really understand. But like people are like, oh, you, you may know, you never know, they may be a serial killer. Well, guess what? I live in Vegas, everyone's crazy here. <laughs> it makes a difference if I meet people on the internet. Then I'm sure they'll be less crazy than the people that I meet at Smith, so. <laughs> so yeah, at the end of the day, we wrap it all up, please, figure out a way to enjoy the holidays. Don't stress out about finding someone. You don't have to have a date to everything. You can just kind of just enjoy your life. Like life is so much more about just enjoying it than having someone. That's not what life's about. So, you know, get through the holidays. If you guys need, I don't know, if you guys need a friend, you can reach out to me. I'd Like I said, I'm very socially awkward. So I'm going <laughs> to do my best, but just know you, you are not alone during the holidays. Okay. So that's it. That's how to get through the holidays single and almost the rest of your life single. <laughs> no, but let's see. I don't know. I'll, I'll think about doing a video as to why I've been single for the past few years. Um, actually really think I probably might because I think that people have kind of a preconceived notion as to why somebody may be single that it's because of other people when really sometimes it's just about you you know what I mean and what you need and what you want in life so 
I think I actually might make that, but it depends on how many people actually want to see it. So, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, thanks for watching and enjoy the holidays and, you know, bite me. <laughs> see you guys later. <laughs> okay.